Hello! Welcome to the House of Witchcraft. And for those of you returning, I would like to say thank you so much for watching and supporting all my videos. I'm having so much fun doing it. And the opportunity to share some of my knowledge and inspire some of you young new witches who still have training wheels on your brooms. I'm just so grateful for the opportunity. Oh, I forgot. Hey, I'm Taryn S., a high priestess in an American witchcraft tradition with over 35 years experience. I stood in my first circle in 1982. For you math witch folk out there, uh, yeah, it's been a while. And along the way, I've learned to come I'd like to believe I've learned a couple of little tidbits of wisdom to pass on. And today I want to talk to you new folks out there, all you wonderful new witchies joining us. Welcome home. We're so happy to see you here. What I want to talk to you about is feeling overwhelmed. You find out that uh, we have in most pagan traditions uh, eight turns of the wheels eight sabbats and then we have 12 full moons and then we have 12 new moons and then we do feast and feast for goddesses and after a while you're like oh my gosh it's a party every week and if you're not careful you're gonna burn out all right uh i've seen it happen um from newbies to high priest types we burn out if we don't keep balance in our life all right, so first start with the, our sabbats. There's eight of them. There we have our solstices, and which are our winter and summer. And then we have our equinoxes, and which are our fall and spring. And then we have what we call cross quarter days for a total of eight. And don't feel like you need to put on a party every six and a half weeks. That's about the average a Sabbat is. Uh, for me personally, um, I like the fall, all right? Uh, I, I just really resonate with Selwyn. I like, you know, the winter, Yule, that solstice, okay? Summer solstice, it's cool too. Um, some of the, the ones in between for me, I, I, I like going and enjoying, but I don't like decorate my house and run around screaming, you know, that, ah, so Wayne's coming, we're on countdown, you know. Uh, th what I'm trying to say is the sabbats that resonate with you. Pick out two or three sabbats, uh, pick out Beltane, okay, May 1st, and then maybe pick out, you know, the June for or June 21st, our summer solstice, or, you know, maybe Mabon, September 21st, Fall Equinox is uh, resonating with you. But what times of the year resonate with you? Really bring those into your life, in, in, into your house, decorate and everything else. Uh, and then also have what I call those quiet sabbats, where maybe it's just you and a couple of friends and a glass of lemonade or wine. Um, not drinking. Uh, I had some fun a little while ago, like two days ago when we did the Feast for Care to Win and I'm still recovering. But look at your life realistically and don't overwhelm yourself. Pick a couple of holidays that really resonate with you and have a blowout. The other holidays, Keep them quiet affairs, but still be aware of them. And when it comes to your full moons, you know, um, in my tradition, we encourage our folks to come together every full moon. But life happens. You can't come to every full moon. All right. I can't come to every full moon over the course of the year. I'm going to miss one or two. And that's OK. All right. And if the full moons resonate with you, use that time period. If the new moons do, use that time. The only rules are the ones you create. This is about embracing your witchiness, all right? 
And I know it's easy to pick up a book and it, to go, oh, it says we should do this, this, and this. This is what the other witches are doing. Um, that's what some witches are doing, not all of us, all right? Uh, so don't overwhelm yourself feeling like you need to learn everything, all right? As I just said, I've been doing this a long time, honey, and I am still learning. I'm still experiencing. You never stop. It's not like you reach a point and you're like, okay, I know everything I need to know. That's not... A magical journey is exactly that. It is a journey, all right? Um, we're not in a race to any destination. This is about being in the moment and just experiencing your life. And I know for some of you new witch folks out there, you live in areas where you're still in the closet. You don't have access to a coven or to our community. Um, patience, patience, patience. All you new witches out there, the biggest thing I see you problem, you ain't got no patience. You want it all right now, right now, right now, okay? It's not how the universe works. You're going to have to give it some time, all right? And so while you're waiting for the opportunity to be part of the community, while you're waiting for the opportunity to be a, in a coven and, and all these things, you know, you can still sit up those little pretty quiet altar areas and everything else. Uh, and you can sit up a, a little small altars. Uh, this doesn't have to be anything big and amazing. All right. You know, find a, a little space and start sitting up a couple of little magical items for yourself and see where it takes you. Uh, if anything you get through my entire video, uh, patience, okay? You don't have to go to every Sabbat. You don't have to go to every full moon to be a good witch, all right? Uh, that's not how it works. So you do you, all right? And you do you the best way you can. And also, if you are lucky enough to be part of the community, and you get to go to those public sabbats, don't forget, I'm gonna give a shout out to Amusing Witch on Cafe Press. We have all sorts of fun t-shirts, so you have exactly the next thing you can wear to your next sabbat. Uh, and I wanna thank all of y'all for joining me. And if you have any ideas for videos you would like to see me do, definitely leave it in the comment section below. And always, like, subscribe, and of course, share. Oh, and I just found out about the notify button and that if you, if you press the notify button, that it tells you when I upload videos. And I have a special treat for those in which you've waited until the end of this video to watch on what I call two of the best all-purpose herbs you can have mugwort and bay leaves they both are the most magical amazing things to be used for all sorts of stuff and if you stay tuned we will be having a video here that's going to tell you everything you need to know about them all right thank you so much for joining me here at the cottage and as always amen bless be ashe and a bobo.